Hey everyone, I'm Nog and welcome back to Satisfactory. As you can see, we are starting pretty much where we left off in the last episode. I did say that I wanted to craft some uh, steel ingots and stuff uh, before this episode, but I decided that before getting on with steel, I really want to figure out how we are going to get pr products from the production line and over to storage. So I'm going to figure that out real quick and uh, set uh, most of it up, I think. And then I will be back and we will continue on with steel. So I'll be back in just a minute. So hang on and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we are back. And as you can see, I have been doing some building, some conveyor belt building. And if we take a look down here from the start of our uh, product line, we start all the way down here with uh, iron plate coming in here. And then that moves up one level and iron rods comes in. And then they move up a level and screws come in. And they move up a level and wire comes in. And that moves up a level and cable comes in and then it runs all the way down here. Where it has to move over a bit to be able to come into the walls that I set up here. But we also have our, let's say, a little bit more advanced uh, production lines coming out here. So we have... Uh, what are they called? Uh, reinforced iron plate there. Then we have frames and we have rotors. And they're coming in here and lining up next to the other production line. And then they come in and they go in first. So first it's rotors and frames come down here and uh, uh, reinforced iron plate comes down one. Frames co come into the wall. And then reinforced iron plate comes into the wall. And then cable, wire, screws, uh, rods, and regular iron plate. Over here, in our storage area, this wire is a little bit annoying going over uh, the bridge. But I guess we'll just have to trip over it every time. That's fine. Over here, I have set up storage for all our stuff. And... There are two containers for each product and there are a total of 10 products being able to be stored here. Uh, if we run over to our tower over here, we can see a little bit better maybe. So let's just have a look. So there you see it. We have a total of 10 products being able to be stored in the ground level of our uh, storage area so yeah so let's run over and oops I actually thought I could jump down from there without getting hurt but I guess I couldn't so let's uh, get the products going over uh, where are the screws because I want those to be on Conveyor twos. Oh, we need more iron plate. Let's just go get some of that. Not too far away. We have a bunch of reinforced iron plate there from our old production, which I've torn down. The temporary one. And let's grab some more iron plate there. And do we actually have any reinforced iron plate? A bit. Let's just grab a stack or two of that. So. And then let's get all of our production uh, moving over there. I just want to see where uh, our screws are. Because I want them to be on uh, Mark II belts. So the screws are coming in as product number 
five, six. Six. The first three here, they don't actually have products uh, on them yet, uh, because we don't have that many products. But uh, they will. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five. And then it's screws. No screws are the next one. You can see them right there. So let's, let's get screws going. And then it's just regular uh, Mark 1 belt going over for the rest of them. And this will. Uh, oh. I have made a mistake. Dang it. All right. So I guess we'll have 11 products in the bottom line. Because I'm not changing that now. So we'll just go up here, run down to the end. Have to jump over all of these. Let's just get up here and do it like that way. Alright, so we just need to change this with a uh, wall conveyor, like so, and then we need to build a couple of storage containers, so there and there. And get some belt going between them. Let's see, can we stand here? Can we? No, we cannot. Right, so we need to get back. But before we do that, let's just uh, upgrade this to Mark 2 belt for the screws because there's 90 screws a minute, and a Mark 1 can only carry 60. Right, and then uh, whoops, we need to go down. Hopefully, not get run over the tractor, which will come under all of this stuff, and get that going. All right. So, all of the products that we're currently making are now being stored, which means that all of our machines are now producing which means that we can see how much power we are actually using now which will be a good thing to know because i am guessing that we are using quite a bit and that we might need to up our power production so let's see it's not actually too bad right now, but but that's because all of them were full already, I guess. So, because this is nowhere near enough power, we're using way more power than that. That's for sure. I think we need to up our uh, our production by quite a bit, at least doubling it, maybe tripling. But that's okay. Uh, we can do that quite easily, uh, at least doubling just by putting another line of uh, coal, uh, coal generators over there. Uh, in I have also uh, just made some steel beams uh, in between. So I made some steel beams and I made some steel pipes. So I crafted a total of 800 steel ingots by hand and then 200 of each of these we already had some encased industrial beams which we found at some wrecks and also a few uh, rotor motors that we found at some wrecks so that's quite nice but uh, let's actually take a look at what does it cost to build a foundry and how much is it or uh, how big is it so a foundry we can actually build quite a few 
foundries we can build eight foundries if we want which is great because that's exactly how many i want to have i think and let's just compare it in size to a Uh, a smelter. Well, there's the same height. Uh, the foundry is just double wide, it looks like. And the same length as well. So that's not too bad. So basically that just means that a foundry takes up twice as much space uh, in width as uh, a smelter does. Which means that we can put the foundries up on the next level of our smelting area over here. So let's just go take a look at that. We will need to go find some more coal and uh, iron patches for this. But we can do that, no problem. Uh, so let's see. How high do we want to go here? Let's just get some uh, walls on our hotbar, regular walls, and I guess that's all we really need. We also need some foundations, and I think we'll use the uh, two meter height foundations for this, or will we? Yeah, we will. So let's put that on nine, and we also need some ramps and stuff to be able to get up there or we could actually use stairs if we have them uh, oh we had stairs somewhere uh, foundations there stairs mm, let's use stairs over here just to switch it up a bit we will use stairs left i think or no oh, stairs there's right uh, so we'll put those on eight so, okay, and this is five wide, one, two, three, four, five, so we will put stairs right here. It's a little bit annoying that you can't run under them, or can we? Yes, we can. We. It does look like we're bumping our heads quite a bit, but uh, we can actually run under them, so that's nice. And let's see, how do we get the next level of stairs going? Like so. And then we need another level. We're gonna get dizzy going up here. And let's just find out how high do we actually want to make this. So this is actually high enough. Uh, but let's do one more just to give a bit of space down here. It's just for kicks. I'm, I don't think I like these stairs. I think I like uh, walkways better. Because going up the stairs, I mean... You get damn busy, dizzy and you fall down. So yeah. I think we're going to go with walkways instead. Not, do not tear out the belts. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four high. We're making the factory five high. Hmm. Hmm. No, well, I think we're keep gonna keep this at four. It doesn't need to be uniform, all of it. Uh, so, there. Oh, there. And we will build this up as well. Just a bit. And then we will put some of these uh, ramps on. So let's see, we will do oh, straights on. We don't need straights, do we? No. We need corners. 
Uh, so we put that on seven. And we need ramps on eight. And that's actually it. I think. Maybe get straights as well on six. Alright. So let's just try out foundations here. We do need one to be open so that we can get up. Uh, let's make that over there. So we need a ramp. I want you on the other side. Come on, man. Hmm. Right, that, guess that means it's gonna be over here. Two enough so that we can get under. I think it might be, but let's go over like this. And then do seven. And put in a couple of turns here. And then go up again. And let's just see where we come up. And that's where we'll have the hole. So we'll come up here. Why am I stuck? I'm stuck on something. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, short interruption. Mm. Okay, so... Wow, this is gonna hurt. No. It didn't actually. Nice. Alright, so we have this going on and we need to go over one more and then we can run foundations all the way down here I really want them in the middle actually uh, so it's just like this this is where the Boundaries will be. So we'll have the foundries here in the middle. And let's try building one down here. Uh, let's see, production, foundry. Let's see, can it fit? It can. Fantastic. Uh, oh, I want it to be right above the first so right about uh, actually right about here but that doesn't work so move it over one two three Four. All right, that's four foundries. Let's see, steel ingot. So it produces two steel ingots, uh, 30 steel ingots a minute, and it uses 45 iron ore and 45 coal. So let's see, that's 90, that's 180, and that's 270. So tier two belt will, or a mark. Mark 3 belt, sorry, will actually feed this what it needs, and then it just needs an output of Mark 1. So let's, let's see, that's 
30, 60, uh, 90, 120. So we need eight of these as well for um, for steel production. And we can have two, eight, uh, uh, eight foundry series uh, on one level. So that's that, that works out quite nicely. So that was one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, so let's just build some foundations here. No more concrete. That's fine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and missing concrete. Typical. <clears throat> now let's just tear out a couple of these foundations so we don't have to run all the way back. And build the last one. All right. So that's eight foundries set up. And then we need to hook them up with uh, iron and coal. Uh, we do know that there is an iron area over there. We have one iron patch over there. So with a Mach 2 miner, that's 120 and yeah hmm All right actually if with a mark 2 minor that we overclock it's 240 so that almost covers uh, this entire thing. We could actually overclock it up to 250%, which means that one Mark II miner would be able to cope with this entire line, which is what we're going to do. Absolutely, that's what, that's what we're going to do. All right, so we need, and we need coal. There are two untapped coal patches down at where we're getting our coal for for the coal generators. So I suppose we could tap into them and just have the uh, set up another truck going and coming around a bit of another way to, to unload its coal. I guess that's a possibility. I, th I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah. I think it is. Let's just go have a look from our uh, lookout tower over here and see how how this looks. Because uh, it looks pretty weird right now with everything uh, pretty much floating in midair. But uh, I'll fix that up so that it looks a little bit more... Let's, let, let's use the word realistic without really meaning it. But I think this is going to be fine. And we'll have the hole in between uh, the two platforms. So the conveyor platform or foundation and the foundry foundations. We'll have a hole in there so that the smoke from the smelters below can get up and get out into the air. It's not really a thing, but it's a thing if you want it to be just a little bit realistic. So, yeah. So, all right, guys. Uh, I think that is going to be all for this episode. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And next time, we will continue with our steel setup. We'll get uh, coal and uh, iron or hooked up to these guys and start producing steel ingots 
and hopefully we will get some uh, some steel production done as well of some kind if we don't need to increase our coal production which i have a sneaking suspicion that we do our power production so yeah so see you next time guys thanks for watching